We continue our coverage of the ACI UK 2025. I am now with Saab Kokums, Maxwell Linton, Head of Sales and Business Development, uh, to find out more about their, well, they have a new display here at the SCI. Uh, they're showcasing their multi-role Comba vessels. Uh, and there's a one new uh, ship design in the middle and we're going to find out uh, more. Maxwell, good afternoon. Great to meet you again. Great to meet you, Xavier. Thanks for taking the time to visit our booth. So I know this is the first time you're, uh, you're showcasing this uh, display uh, ever. Can you tell us more about uh, this uh, family of uh, three vessels? Absolutely. So uh, as you likely know, Saab's been in the business of building surface vessels for a few centuries now. And uh, we're proudly here at DCI to now show off our family of surface combatants. Uh, and as you likely pointed out, we have a new family member, a new sibling. And uh, what we're also trying to express here is the fact that they share a common ancestry, they share a common DNA and a design philosophy, which I was hoping to expand on a little bit. So let's start with the, small, the first and smallest of the, the three vessels. So I recognize the silhouette as the littoral mission vessel or LMV that's uh, currently in service uh, with the Republic of Singapore Navy uh, that uh, you worked on this project in partnership with ST Engineering. Uh, why is it making a comeback, so to speak? Why are you showcasing it here? Well, obviously, when we designed the, the LMV platform originally, it was built with the future in mind. Because the only thing we know for sure is that change is constant. The only thing we also know for sure is that the technological development rate that we have today is the slowest it's ever going to be. So what we embedded in the platform as part of our DNA across all three platforms is the fact that we need to have future-proof capabilities for the system. So this platform that was developed more than a decade ago is more relevant today than it's ever been because of that. Can you share with us if you're uh, actively promoting uh, this uh, vessel with any specific uh, countries or navies? We see major uh, demand for platforms of this, this type, specifically because of the future-proof capabilities and it acting as a drone mothership, something as well that the remaining platforms are equally astute at. So drone mothership, you're talking about uh, UXVs or UAVs, USVs and uh, UUVs. Uh, can you elaborate how it can launch and recover such uh, systems? Well, I mean, you're going to see on, on the after that there's, there's deployment capabilities and it does work seamlessly on unmanned surface, unmanned air assets and uh, to a certain degree unmanned underwater vehicles. Would this vessel uh, fulfill the needs of uh, countries in the Baltic uh, region? I think it would uh, fulfill the needs for many countries and I think that it would be superb at uh, the demands that Baltic states would likely have. All right, Maxwell, if we uh, transition to the vessel in the middle, so that's a new design that I see for the first time, even though the, the model itself is not very detailed. Uh, can you tell us what it is? So obviously, the platform in the middle is uh, going to be our offering for the YSF program, the, the Swedish frigate program. Uh, this is a platform that we've developed uh, and, and have partnered with Babcock to supply an offer for the Swedish uh, Navy. Well, that's uh, quite uh, interesting and uh, it's a first, I guess, first time you're, so you're showing it. Uh, can you tell us about the, the current status for, for this? Uh, I would love to put a lid on at least the, the status of the program. I think that you'd better uh, address the Swedish Navy and FMV for comments of that nature. I don't know the latest developments. But uh, as far as uh, Saab is uh, concerned, like uh, design is ongoing or? Uh, the design work is, is almost complete, but again, I'd, I'd refer you to FMV for the latest updates on the process itself. If we move to the larger uh, vessel, so I recognize uh, the MRCV, Multiroll Combat Vessel, that uh, is currently under construction for the Republic of uh, Singapore Navy. Uh, again, you're showcasing it here uh, at a major international trade show. Uh, I remember seeing it a couple of weeks ago uh, at a smaller trade show in Denmark, uh, Delo Industry Days. Uh, are you promoting uh, this design uh, to countries besides uh, Singapore? Absolutely. Uh, we're very proud of the MRCB platform. I think it embodies many of the, the, the traits that we think are unique for this family of platforms. The, the future-proof capabilities that are expressed in regards to the LMV, but also the fact that it, it, it kind of harnesses our eagerness to work in partnerships. 
because we consider ourselves to a certain degree uh, a shipyard agnostic shipbuilder, where we partner with the best of breed to capture opportunities internationally. And that's been seen in many places around the world, either ST in, in Singapore, uh, Remontova in Poland, where we're supplying two SIGINT vessels for the Polish Navy, or the MRCV again with uh, the Sing Singapore technologies. So we, we have uh, we have a winning concept of partnering with like-minded companies internationally. And I think the YSF and the MRCV and the LMV are perfect uh, examples of that. And uh, the fact that uh, you're showcasing it in, in Denmark means uh, you're promoting this design for uh, the future needs of the Royal Danish Navy regarding their future fleet plan. We think the Danish Navy uh, would, uh, would be very well served by this platform, but obviously that's, that's a decision for the Danish Navy to decide on. And lastly, uh, Maxwell, as uh, well, I covered that uh, Index Asia this year in Singapore, Kokums has an expertise, is an expert in uh, composites for the top sides of the ships. Do all three vessels feature composites? Correct. Uh, Saab has a s strong and proud legacy of naval composite, I mean, amplified by the Visby Corvette almost 30 years ago. I, I would say that uh, naval composite is definitely one of the unique selling points that we consider across our family of platforms, and this is currently on board each one of them. Very well, Maxwell, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Thank you, sir.